ഇപ്പോൾ നല്ല റിസൾട്ട് വന്ന കമ്പനീസ് ആണ് കൂടുതൽ പിക്ക് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ അതിൽ നമ്മൾ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഐഡിയ സെല്ലാണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു റിസൾട്ട് നല്ല റിസൾട്ട് ആയിരുന്നു പിന്നെ ഈ ടെലികമ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിൽ തന്നെ ഒരു റീസ്ട്രക്ചറിംഗ് വരുന്നുണ്ട് കാരണം നമുക്ക് അറിയാവുന്ന പോലെ ഒരുപാട് ടെലികോം എംപ്ലോയേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു മുമ്പിൽ ഒരു ടെൻ ടു ഫോർട്ടീൻ ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ എംപ്ലോയേഴ്സ് ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഒരുപാട് പേരൊക്കെ അത് ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയിൽ നിന്ന് ഷേക്ക് ഔട്ടായി പോയി കഴിഞ്ഞു ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി കൺസോൾഡേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാണ് ഒരു ഫോർ ടു ഫൈവ് പ്ലേസ് ആയിട്ട് ചുരുങ്ങി കഴിഞ്ഞു അതുമല്ല ഇപ്പം ത്രീ ജി ഫോർ ജി ഒക്കെ വന്നോട് ഡേറ്റ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ നല്ലൊരു ഡിം വരുന്നുണ്ട് നല്ല റവന്യൂസ് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ കമ്പനി ആൾറെഡി മറ്റേ കോൾ റവന്യൂ ഇപ്പൊ കൂടുതലും കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ഡേറ്റ റവന്യൂസ് ആണ് ഡേറ്റ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ റവന്യൂസിലാണ് വരുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഇപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് നോക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ കുറച്ച് വാല്യുവേഷൻ കുറച്ചൊക്കെ ഹൈ ആയിരിക്കും പക്ഷെ ഇനി ഗ്രോ ചെയ്യാൻ സാധ്യതയുള്ള ഒരു ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയാണ് ഒരു ബാഡ് പ്രൈസ് കഴിഞ്ഞെന്ന് പറയാം ഈ ടെലികോം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസിന്റെ ഈ ഡേറ്റ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ഒക്കെ ഒരു വിധം നല്ല ചാർജാണ് അവര് ഈടാക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ റവന്യൂസ് കൂടാനും സാധ്യതയുണ്ട് അപ്പം നമുക്ക് നോക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഈ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി തന്നെ പാനിൻ്റെ പ്രസൻസ് ഉള്ള ഒരു കമ്പനിയാണ് ഐഡിയ സെല്ലുള്ള പിന്നെ കൂടുതൽ ഇന്ത്യ ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ആണ് വെളിയിൽ ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് കുറവാണ് ും കമ്പാരിറ്റീവ് ബെറ്റർ ആയിക്കൊണ്ട് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ടെലികമ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ സെക്ടറിൽ നമുക്ക് മേടിക്കാവുന്ന ഷെയറാണ് ഐഡിയ പിന്നെ നോക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഫാർമ സെക്ടറിൽ നോക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ലൂപ്പിൻ നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം കൺസിസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയിട്ട് നല്ല പെർഫോമൻസ് അത് കൺസിസ്റ്റന്റ് മാർക്കറ്റ് പ്രൈസ് അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിലും അതിന്റെ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ആയിട്ട് റിസൾട്ട് പെർഫോമൻസ് പെർഫോമൻസ് ഉണ്ട് അപ്പം റിസൾട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് മാനേജ്മെന്റ് കമാൻഡറി പറയുന്നത് ഈ ഗ്രോത്ത് ഒരു ത്രീ ടു ഫോർ ഇയേഴ്സിൽ അവർ സസ്റ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് അതിന് അപ്രൂവൽസും ന്യൂ ഡ്രഗ് ലോഞ്ചസ് ഒക്കെ അവർക്കുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഈ ട്രെൻഡ് തന്നെ കണ്ടിന്യൂ സാധ്യതയുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ നല്ലൊരു അപ്രിസിയേഷൻ കിട്ടാൻ സാധ്യതയുണ്ട് ഷോർട്ട് ടൈമിലും ഒരു മീഡിയം ടൈമിലും നല്ലൊരു റിട്ടേൺ കിട്ടാൻ സാധ്യതയുള്ള ഒരു ഷെയറാണ് ലൂപ്പിൻ ഫാർമ ഇതുപോലത്തെ എൻ പി എഫ് സിക്ക് നല്ല പോസിറ്റീവ് 
ഡിഫക്റ്റീവ് ആണ് അപ്പം മേടിക്കാൻ മേടിക്കാന്നാണ് ഏകദേശം ഹൺഡ്രഡ് റുപ്പീസ് കറക്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് മാർക്കറ്റിൽ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു വീക്ക് ഹൈ ചെയ്യുന്ന നല്ല രീതിയിൽ കറക്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് വാല്യൂഷൻ ഇപ്പം ഒരു റീസണബിൾ ആണ് മേടിക്കാവുന്നതാണ് പിന്നെ എഫ് എം സിയിൽ നോക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ മാരിക്കോ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രീസ് ആണ് അവർ നേരത്തെ രണ്ട് സെക്ടേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഈ എഫ് എം സി ജിയും പിന്നെ കയാ ക്ലിനിക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞൊരു ക്ലിനിക് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഫോറിനിലൊക്കെ അപ്പൊ അതിനവർ ഡീമർ ചെയ്തത് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് ലിസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇപ്പൊ കൂടുതൽ എഫ് എം സി ജിയിലാണ് കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഒരു ബുക്ക് വാല്യൂ എങ്കിലും പോകാൻ 
കഴിഞ്ഞ മാസത്തെ ടോട്ടൽ മ്യൂച്വൽ ഫണ്ട്സിലുള്ള ഡൊമസ്റ്റിക് മ്യൂച്വൽ ഫണ്ട്സിലുള്ള ഇൻഫ്ലോ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ടെൻ തൗസൻഡ് അതുപോലെ കഴിഞ്ഞ വർഷമൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ സംസാരിക്കുക പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ഒരു മാസം നാല് ലക്ഷം റീറ്റെയിൽ പോർട്ട് ഫോളിയോസ് മ്യൂച്വൽ ഫണ്ട്സ് ക്ലോസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു എവരി കഴിഞ്ഞ മൂന്ന് മാസമായിട്ട് നയൻറ്റീൻ ലാക്ക് അക്കൗണ്ട്സ് ഓപ്പൺ ആയിരിക്കുന്നു ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ആവറേജ് കമ്മിങ് ടു എബവ് സിക്സ് ലാക്സ് അത് വളരെ പോസിറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യമാണ് റീറ്റെയിൽ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സിന്റെ തിരിച്ചു വരവ് പിന്നെ ും 
position in fourth quarter with three to six months view. Every month the company will be coming out with a monthly sales figure, and if you track, we can uh, and if it is very good, means we can continue to, to hold on. So it's a looks very interesting company to buy at current levels. It's a cheapest auto company. That has been listed in our exchanges. And into the markets, if you see, means markets are making some good consolidation in the last one month. Index is going up and down, but in in, in the market there is a adjustment is happening. Uh, for example, PSU bank shares, infrastructure shares, and also profit booking has come. Whereas IT, FMCG, pharmaceuticals, they have gone up. So some adjustment is happening among the sectors, and it is a good one. A healthy correction. Is happening in some sectors and some money is moving into defensive sectors like IT, Pharma and FMCG. In this one, Unilever has crossed 700. Similarly, if you see in IT, Infosys has again come to 3500 levels and Pharma almost all leading pharma companies like Lupin, Sun, and Dr. Reddy, they are doing very well. So it's a good market to be in, uh, even though index is some volatility we are seeing in the index. Among positive news, if you see, means after a long time, we are seeing some improvement in domestic macro data. If you see the IAP data, it, it is very good for the last two months. And the next data also is expected to be very good. So IAP data is the first indicator among macro data, which, is, which looks very positive. And inflation is also coming down. CPA, which was, which was around 11% in the month of November, has fallen to around 7%, which is very positive. And monsoon deficit, which was a big concern last month, it has narrowed. Last month, when we took the presentation, it was around 43%. Now it has come to 18% till yesterday. So the deficit was has almost half in the last one month. These are the positive things. But if you see global markets, there is some volatility because of various reasons. Every region has its own problem. For example, the European Union, if you take means they are been affected by the Russia Ukraine problem. And if you see US means that is volatile because because of expectation of US Fed rate hike. And uh, similarly, some parts uh, there is some violence in Iraq and Libya. So, all these factors are affecting the global markets. And the corporate results, if 
you see me see it is mixed some of the companies which we are tracking they are have come out with very good results for example companies like tv today center electronics and uh, amaraja batteries idea they have all come out with good results most of the companies have come out with good results only some psu banks there was an increase in npa and all other than that if you leave that said means majority of the company has come out with good results and if you see the index overall index has gone up by around 1.2 percent almost all index has gone up more than 1 percent nifty sensex mid cap small cap uh, all have this time only all has did equally whenever when we take the out performance we see sometimes nifty and sensex will do well mid cap and small cap will underperform and uh, nifty and sensex will do bad but the mid cap and small cap will do well but this time all as equally done well that means uh, some com- part of the nifty and sensex is doing well and some part of mid cap and small cap is doing well so it is a stock specific market overall that is why all this indices has given a uh, equal return and this is the iip data for the last one year and if you see in the last one year first time we have got more than 3 percent consecutively in the two months in april and may about 3% in april we got 3.4 and may 4.7 june which will come on august 12th next week it is expected to be around 5.2 or 5.3 so for the three consecutive month it is iip data has been very good but if you see the preceding 10 months either it has been very flat like 1.1 1.1 it has been marginally negative by 1.2 1.3 almost for the last 10 months so overall we are seeing a very good indicator of iip improvement which indicates that economy has bottomed up and it is showing some rebound this is the iip annual iip growth for the last 10 years and if you have seen the last two years iip in the last three years iip has been it has come down drastically in 2012 it was 2.8 and 2013 it was 1.1 and in 2014 it has been contraction of 0.1 so after all of uh, three almost three years we are expecting good iip growth in the first quarter of uh, current year which indicates that there is some turnaround is going to happen it is expected to 
be above 5% in the first quarter. So IAP has come down in the last 5 years consistently. Now we are seeing some uptrend. So there is some technical rebound in our economy. We are currently going to see. Similarly, if you see the inflation, this is a dark blue line, is the CPI inflation. It is the, see, now RBI government has told that he is going to track only CPI inflation and WPI is not going to touch since the CPI inflation has uh, has, has the highest coverage of all the people. It will affect most of the people unlike WPA where only a section of people will get affected. So if you see that this dark blue line is the CPA inflation and if you see the month of November, it was almost 11.1 and it has fallen to 7.3%, which is also a very good signal. And if we see historically, yeah, the CPI inflation has always very high. This is the inflation, uh, CPI inflation for the last uh, 50 years it has been started and if you see most of the time it has been above uh, between 5 to 10 percent and many times it has gone up to 10 percent even sometimes it has even gone above 30% in the year 71 and all, if we see means inflation has gone above 30%. So India has been consistently a country of very high inflation. Now RBI government has clearly told that he wants to bring the inflation under control that to a sustainable basis. His target is to bring inflation to 8% in coming January. And in the next year, he wants to bring it to 6%. And uh, after that, it should be around 6% for a elongated of time. Unlike in previous times where there was a huge volatility in CP inflation, where it has been going up and down, he don't want like that. He wants to be a stable inflation for a longer period of time. And this is the FIA activity. And if you see the FIA activity has slowed down in the last 10 days. And still, yesterday of August, if we see, means there has been a net outflow of. 0.3 billion, but the previous that there has been a good inflow, except in the month of January and February, there has been almost an inflow of 2 to 3 billion every month. So, uh, foreign investors have we are in wait mode 
and uh, and we have to see how they are going to do in the coming days uh, due to global uncertainty but on the other hand domestic institutions uh, they are doing very well they are getting very good inflow and if you see the equity mutual fund net inflows if you see in the last 3 months it has been a consecutive uptrend and in the month of july 10845 crores inflow is there in the it domestic mutual fund net inflows and previous month it was almost 7000 crores and before that almost 2000 crores almost an amount of 20000 crores has been in inflow in the last 3 months in domestic mutual fund this is after a prolonged period of net outflow in the equity mutual fund if you see in the last uh, one year of vc there has been a sharp outflows in many times and there has been in some marginal inflows overall if you see in the last uh, uh, <coughs> one year the, in the first nine months of last one year there has been a huge outflow of fund from mutual fund security mutual fund only in the last three months there has been a good inflow especially in the month of july was a very good one where they have got an inflow of 10800 crores in domestic mutual fund 10845 crores so it is one of the highest after january since january 2008 only in the during january 2008 only we have got this much of inflow so after 6 years we are getting against the again this inflow of uh, 10000 crores in the mutual fund even if you see the number of portfolios getting added and if you see in the chart every this is quarterly one if you see in the last 6 7 quarters the number of portfolios has been gradually coming down every month there was a closure of 4 to 5 lakhs portfolios but that trend also has changed and in the first quarter of current year if you see almost uh, 1.9 million that means 19 lakh portfolios has been added in the domestic mutual fund which is a clear indicator that domestic investors are coming back into the market and this is the q1 results as we know we are in the results season and many of them have been watching it very closely because whenever good results are announced by company the stock has been going up by 15 to 20 percent similarly when results are very bad on the day itself it is falling by 15% like that so sharp movement has been happening in the uh, stocks individual stocks based on the result and uh, if you see the results 
of sensex companies almost uh, 18 companies have announced results uh, among these i have not added satellite and if you see this 16 companies results in the june quarter sales has gone up by 12 percent whereas the same at that time of last year was 9.6 percent and if you see the profitability it has gone up by 20 percent whereas the same was around 10 percent last year so both on top line and bottom line if you compare year on year basis there has been a good improvement in corporate profitability and moreover what is very interesting is that many companies margins has improved considerably so so in the coming days what will happen is that if the economy rebounds means when top line starts growing means when the bottom line in the net profit will go up disproportionately in the positive side against the sales so that is the big positive we are going to see in the coming days the economy reports. So the overall corporate results were good. And if you see the broader companies of 903 companies results, sales again has gone up by 13%. Sector if economy grows. So immediately 
the SLR cut is not going to help the banking sector. But in the coming days, when the economy is not reviving, private sector may need lot of funds. So at that time, this SLR cut will be beneficial to both banking sector and the corporate. So he has done that. But he is very firm on controlling inflation. Based on his language and other things we expect, we can expect that only rate cut will come only in the first quarter of uh, next year. That means next year, April, May and June. At that time only, there is a possibility of rate cut. And in the next six months, rate cut is not going to And uh, in, in the recent interview, he clearly told that why he has been maintaining rates. He told that he told that India is one of the country with very high inflation rate. And if we see the inflation rate of various countries, if we see India comes almost on the top of it. That too, because of the recent decline in inflation rate, India is in there. Otherwise, India will be still on the top. Among the countries where which are having very high inflation rate, other than India, is Argentina is there because of some problem. Egypt, even some of the companies which are highly populated like Indonesia, China, inflation has been much lower. In Indonesia, just 4.5%. Similarly, in China, 2.3% is there. And if you see the European countries like Germany and France, inflation has been well below 1%. So, India is one of the few countries in the world which are having very high inflation. And he wants to bring around these levels. Around 6% he wants to bring in the next two years. That, that was his, uh, his goal. And looks like that he may achieve it, but for that we have to undergo some pain. In the last two years, if you see, means every every year uh, there, there will be some top topic of discussion. Two years back, it was a fiscal cliff which was under discussion by the analyst and every time market suddenly goes up and down and they will tell the reason is that fiscal relief is going to come so it will affect this and last year it was US tampering of quantitative easing which has uh, which has uh, the center of the theme and because of that market has was very volatile this time the topic which has been took for uh, discussion was the the increase of interest rate by us fed you know that us fed has been maintaining interest rate for prolonged period from 2009 onwards, uh, they have been maintaining the interest rate, and now uh, analysts were expecting that this interest rate may start going up in the coming days. Uh, <laughs> I 
in the F5 that is next year they are expecting some hike in the US interest rate and because of the hike in US interest rate market may it may affect the market and market may start falling from that equities will become unattractive and the bonds may become attractive so on that basis equity markets are very volatile in us market in the last 15 to 20 days if you see means many times market has fallen the reason they are telling is that us fed will start increasing the interest rate earlier than market has been anticipating and if you see if you see that uh, if US economy is strongly rebounds and uh, inflation starts going up in US means US Fed is definitely will hike interest rate but what what US Fed chairman has been telling is that that is consistently maintaining that they will maintain the uh, low, low, lower interest rate regime for the considerable period of time but they, they still now they have been told that when they will increase the interest rate but the market will start moving up and down based on the on of timing of the, the US Fed rate hike. Uh, and this is the US Fed rate chart. And if you see means that since 2009, when this uh, global crisis came in 2008, Fed has drastically reduced their interest rate. From nearly 5.5, they are brought to 0.25% in 2009. And from there, almost for the last two, uh, five years, they have been maintaining the very low interest rate of 0.25%. So, now what market? is expecting is that from 2015 onwards this flat line will start turning up and will start increasing so whenever this starts this is going to happen then equity will become very unattractive and based on that some selling has already started in new markets this year and if you see historically this US Fed has, correct, has reduced uh, interest rate drastically whenever there is some US problem whenever there is problem in the US economy in 2001 if they have drastically reduced interest rate from 6.5 to near to nearly to 1.25 when there was a dot com bubble crisis. Similarly, in 2009, when the global economic crisis came, at that time also they have reduced it drastically. So now market expects that when US economy stabilizes, now it is time for the US increase the interest rate. So based on that, we are seeing some volatility in US market and that is also will start to affect emerging markets also because whenever 
he was uh, fed to start increasing interest rate then we may see some uh, depreciation in currencies of all global markets because us dollar will become strong that is why this rupee has become little weaker in the last 15 to 20 days
2021 so this is the number of uh, subdivisions has been consistently moving from scanty and efficient to normal that also is a positive one and uh, this is the august
for all proper markets in the coming days. Among events to watch, if you see, means results are coming. Almost 50% of the companies have announced results. Balance of 40% of Do you 